What's up guys, Justin here with TheFusionEssentials.com back with another Fusion for Architecture tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're going to continue our series on creating a floor plan inside of Fusion 360. So last week we started off by using an image to create our walls. This week we're going to talk a little bit about how to start adding doors and frames into our model. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so what we're gonna do is, what I've done is I've gone through and I've added the interior walls in the same way that we added the exterior walls um, to this model. So now we have the interiors. We need to start adding some things that go inside of these door and window frame openings. And so I figured I'd show you the way to do a couple of these and then you could probably go from there. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna start, let's go ahead and model out a door frame. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and add our frame for our front door. And so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to start by creating a sketch on our face right here. And so what that's going to allow us to do is that's going to allow us to draw basically a rectangle that fills in this space. So I'm just going to tap the R key and then just draw a rectangle from here to here. And what we want to do is we want to then offset this by the thickness of our frame. So we'll go ahead and say that our frame is going to be, we'll call it uh, two inches thick. So we'll do a negative two inches and hit the enter key. And one thing about this is you are going to want to go ahead and draw a line from this corner straight down because we want to split this face here and we want to do the same thing here because we're going to extrude this back in order to create our frame. Then once we're done with this we can go ahead and click on finish sketch. So what that gives us is this gives us a sketch right here where we can extrude this back in order to create our frame. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my other sketches um, just go by going into sketches right here. So now what we want to do is we want to extrude this back the thickness of our wall. So we can do that by clicking on the extrude tool and then clicking on our frame and just clicking and dragging this back and actually in this case I want to type in a value because my wall is six inches thick so I'm just going to type in a value of negative 0.5 or negative six inches. So when you create your initial extrusion what you want to do is you want to make sure your operation is set to new component and we want to model these doors and frames as components because later on if we model them as components we can schedule those out. So we can create a door and frame schedule using those and remember that components are smarter than bodies which is what allows us to schedule these out. So really all that means is just make sure you select the option for new component. Click on OK. So then what we're going to do is let's go ahead and label this. So in this situation, this door is three and a half feet wide by seven feet high. So we'll just label this by clicking on it. And we'll just call this door 3.5 feet wide by seven foot zero inches high. And I guess to be consistent, I should probably do three foot, six inches wide by seven feet high and hit the enter key. So now what we need to do is we need to model out our door because we have our frame and we want to model our door. And so one thing you could do is you could model your doors and frames as separate objects if you wanted to. I'm going to go ahead and add this as a part of this object right here. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on this to to activate my component. And so what that's gonna allow me to do is that's gonna allow me to create my next body inside of this object. I'm also gonna add an offset plane by clicking right here and then clicking on this face. And then I'm gonna add an offset plane negative three inches. So basically at the center of this wall. And I'm gonna hit the enter key. So what that allows me to do is that allows me to model out my door starting from the center right here. So now I want to come in here and I want to create a sketch. So I'm going to click on create a sketch. I'm going to click right here in order to set where my sketch is going to be. And so in this situation, I'm going to draw a line. So I'm going to draw a line from this point up to this corner. I'm going to draw another line across here to this corner and then another line down here. And finally I'll fill this in. So what that should do is that should give me a face in here that I can extrude into a door. So now I'm going to click on finish sketch. What that's going to allow me to do is that's going to allow me to extrude this um, basically the thickness of my frame right here. So we're just going to click on extrude and we just want to extrude this back by negative three inches. So that's basically the remainder of the thickness of our wall. And what you want to do in this situation is you want to go ahead and click on the button for new body. So you just want to create a new body, click on OK. And if you want to, you can go in and label these 
So you could lab label this frame for the first one and door for the second one. So now what we have is we have a door component in here that's three foot six inches wide by seven foot high and it's got a door object and a frame object inside of it. So now we can go back and we can set our floor plan back to our active component like this. So now you can see that our floor plan is in here as is our door and our frame. So now let's do the same thing by adding a window in here. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to start by creating a sketch aligned with this face. So we're going to click on create sketch. We'll click on this front face right here. Then we'll just draw a rectangle across this opening, just like this. And then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to offset this in a little bit because this is going to have like a retainer on the inside of it. And we want to go ahead and we want to offset this so that this picks up the thickness of that retainer. So we'll go ahead and we'll offset this in and we'll say that it's an inch thick. I don't know how thick these are in the real world, but we'll go ahead and use an inch for right here just to keep this simple. And then I'm going to hit the enter key. So what that allowed me to do is that allowed me to offset this inward. Well now, I can use the line tool and draw a line from the midpoint here and we can find the midpoint up above here and we can inference down. So you can see how all I did was I moved my mouse over that point and now that's giving me an inference to this center point. So I'm drawing a line from there to there just like this. And then we can do the same thing where we can use the offset tool. And in this case, remember that this is going to be centered on this center point, this central point. So what you want is you want to take your negative inch, so negative one inch, but then you want to divide it by two because we're going to mirror it to create the full thing. So this is basically a half inch thick like this. We're going to go ahead and click on OK. So now what we can do, instead of coming in here and drawing these over and over again, is we can just mirror them. So I'm just going to select them both, and then I'll use the mirror tool in order to mirror these across this line right here. I'll click on OK. Then we'll take these and select them, and then we'll use the mirror tool and mirror them over this line right here. And so now we have our full glass retainer piece right here. So now all we need to do is extrude this through our wall in order to create our window. So the way that we can do that is so we can click on finish sketch and then again we want to come in here and we want to activate the extrude tool and we want to select these faces. So I can select all of these faces and I can assume this is going to have a thickness of six inches. And this internal piece might be a little bit different actually. So what we might want to do is we might want to deselect these for now. We'll go ahead and assume this is going to be the full width of the wall. So negative six inches. And remember to set your operation to new component. So we're going to click on new component right here. Click on OK. And we'll go ahead and label our window. And in this case, this window is three feet wide, four and a half feet tall. So we'll go ahead and label this window three foot zero inches wide by four foot six inches high. We'll hit the enter key. So now we have our window in here and we just need to add our detail. So the way that we can do that is we can go ahead and we can activate this component so that we're editing inside of this component and then we're going to turn this sketch that we created back on and we're going to take that sketch and we're going to do the same thing we're going to select our face activate the extrude tool and we're going to extrude this back but in this situation what we want to do is we want to extrude this in to your central point first so we're going to do a two-sided extrusion. And what I want to do is, first of all, I want to start by extruding this back three inches. So we're going to do three inches like this. But then we're going to do three inches and we're going to assume that this is probably, we'll call it a half inch thick. Actually, we'll call it an inch thick. So what we want to do is we want our second extrusion to go back three inches minus one inch because we want it to err minus a half inch like this. So that'll move this back three inches but then forward negative half an inch. And then on the other side 
we want this to just extrude back by negative one inch. <clears throat> and so basically what we did is we extruded this back to our center, but then gave it a thickness of a half inch forward and a thickness of a half inch back. And in this situation, we can go ahead and allow this to join. So we're gonna click on okay. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna give us our window frame. So you can see how we created our frame in here. There's some other ways you could do that as well. I know that's a little bit complicated, but I think it works for what we're trying to do right here. And the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some glass in here. So I wanna add some glass panes. So the way that I wanna do that is I wanna start by creating an offset plane right here. And then we wanna give it a distance of negative three inches. And I'm gonna hit the inner key. So what that's done is that's created a construction plane right in the middle of my wall right here. Well then, we can come in here and we can add a sketch on that face. So I'm gonna turn my original sketch off just so it doesn't get in the way. Then we're gonna add a new sketch on this construction plane. So when you do that, all you need to do is I find the line tool works a little bit better when you're doing this in order to kind of snap to these points. But we're gonna draw a pane of glass right here. So we've basically drawn a face that's gonna act as that pane of glass. And then we'll go, do, go ahead and do the same thing for our other objects, or for our other panes. So I'm just gonna draw a line up here. I'll actually use the rectangle tool in order to close this in. Do the same thing down here. And we'll click on Finish Sketch. And so what that's done is that's given us a sketch that we can use in order to create our glass. And so for our glass, all I wanna do is I just wanna extrude these and give them a little bit of thickness. So you can select them before or after you turn the extrude tool on. I'm gonna select them before by doing a shift click. We're just gonna click on extrude. All right, so once you have these selected, you can go ahead and you can set your direction to symmetric because you wanna extrude this in both directions. And we wanna extrude this, let's say we want this to be a quarter inch thick. I don't know if that's actually accurate or not, but we'll go ahead and type in an eighth of an inch. What that's gonna do is that's gonna extrude this both directions, an eighth of an inch. So that'll give us a total thickness of a quarter inch. And we can go ahead and set these to be a new body right here. We're gonna click on okay. And so now what we have is we have a window in our wall. And we can go back and we can set this to active if we want. One thing we might wanna do is we might wanna go ahead and we might wanna apply a glass material to these. So to do that, you can go to modify, appearance, that'll pop up a little window over here. And I'm just going to select a glass material. So maybe this glass window. And we're gonna go ahead and drag a glass onto each one of these panes of glass just like this. And if we wanted to, we could also apply like a wood or a white material or something like that around the outside. We can do that in a minute. But that's basically how you're gonna model out all of your doors and windows in here. Windows are always the ones that take the longest because they've got all this extra detail in here. But one thing you can do to save time is if you have openings that are the same size for all of these, what you can do is you can take this and you can make a copy of it. So you can select your component and then use the move tool in order to copy that. So you can just click on move right here. And then you wanna select move object components. You wanna select your window, and then you wanna make sure that you've selected the option for point to point. That's gonna allow you to select a point and then create a copy based on that point. So we're just gonna click on the button right here for origin point, and we're gonna click on this corner then we'll set our target point over here. Before we do that though, make sure you select the option for create copy. So then you can do a target point and click right here. So you can see how now I've created a copy of this window over here. And then we can do the same thing again, just like this. And one of the cool things about these being instances of the same component is now if we go in here and we make a change, so let's say, for example, that we were to adjust this window and let's say that we were to apply a material to it. So we'll click in here to activate it and then we'll activate the appearance tool one more time. Let's go ahead and just apply a wood material in here just because I have that in my, uh, in my components right now. But we'll go ahead and we'll apply maybe an oak material to this. So what I wanna do is just drag this onto my window, just like this. 
And so one thing you might do is you might turn your glass material off. That might make this a little bit easier. Um, but you can see how now I've applied that to this object. Well now, if we were to go back and we were to make this our active floor plan, you're going to notice that these others, because they're instances of that window, have changed also. So now what we have is we have doors and windows inside of our model. So I'll probably go through and add the rest of these off screen, but you can see how the doors are going to be pretty easy to model. The windows take a little bit longer. Um, obviously you're going to save a lot of time if you can just use the move um, copy option instead of having to remodel them for a bunch of different windows. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this series, about the workflow that we showed in this video. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Fusion 360 content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.